It's done. It's ready. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to another episode now. I'm very excited because I'm in my new shed now. It's been a bit of a process getting this shed done, but we are here and I'm standing at the finished line with the finished product, so very excited. Now, for anyone who's decided to build or do anything on their own property, you would know the amount of muck around and the hoops that you've got to jump through to try and get something to even go through before even starting the build process. So that's why everything's taken me so long, but we are here and we are here to talk about what we've got now. Oh, so excited. I'm just standing at the start of the shed. I'll spin it around and give you a view of what I see. Now, holy dooly, there's a lot going on here, but everything's in its place, everything has its usage, and everything has a purpose. Now, very excited. So, a little quick sort of rundown of the size of this shed. Now, this isn't a massive block, but I went as big as I could possibly go. So, I went 11 meters long, four meters wide, three meter wall height with a 500 pitch. So it's a fairly big shed for a metro townhouse. So very, very excited. Now, a couple of things what I've done differently to a normal shed. Normally you've got your roller door, which is fantastic. And then you've got like a little door to get in and out. I've changed that around a bit. So what I've done is I've put a great big sliding door here. Now, the reason why I've done a big sliding door because we haven't got a huge backyard. Come with me, follow me, follow me. Because we haven't got a huge backyard. Spin you around. If we only had a tiny little door there, that would literally just feel like a great big wall and it would really make this space tiny. And when we do have friends around and stuff, it wouldn't feel very spacious. But having that open, all right, and eventually we're gonna do a veranda or something like that, this sort of gives us an extra space or an area for entertaining. Now, that's the whole point. We wanna make it user-friendly, not just for me, but also for just general, if we're having people around, lots of space useful now as you can see the boat fits in here perfectly now that's a four meter boat there's plenty of space and that was the whole point for this shed originally was to keep this guy undercover out of the weather out of the dust all that muck around and i can leave stuff in it without having to worry about oh, things going missing now nothing's ever happened like that but there's always that thing playing in your mind now i'm actually going fishing tomorrow so i'm going to load the boat up tonight have everything ready fish finder is going to be in there and all I have to do tomorrow is hook the boat up, grab some bait, and I'm off. In the past, I've had to do all that the day of, or you know, it's a rush around, which isn't ideal. So I really love being able to pack a boat, have everything ready to go, and then I can sneak off straight away the next day. So I'm really excited about that. Now, you've got the boat, that's in its position, ready to go for its next adventure. We spin around to the other side, got my, my sort of workbench, got a vice, got the toolbox, all that bits and pieces. Now, this is mainly for, you know, I guess just general work, but I can do a little bit of, you know, tossing and turning between the boat and here if I am mucking around with fishing gear, which is fantastic because it is just such an easy area to, you know, access. So again, nice sturdy bench. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find a sturdy bench nowadays. Now, again, this isn't probably the most sturdiest, but it was the most strongest one I could find. and. All the stuff that I'm going to talk about, I'm not sponsored by them, but Stratco. The shed, the shelves, the benches, everything, Stratco. And to be honest, super easy to use and yeah, pretty good to work with. Now, as you can see, workbench, tick. We move a bit forward and we've got the big set of shelves. Again, you need some pretty strong shelves for the amount of weight that you're going to be bearing. So I've got a four tier shelf and everything that I pretty much have for the boat, camping, all that sort of stuff is in this area. Now I've got all my camping gear, I've got all my dive gear and then like crab cookers and uh, you know, all that sort of stuff at the top, which is a bit lighter. So again, everything's got a spot. It probably looks a bit chaotic, but I know where everything is, which is awesome. We spin around to this wall. Now, this is the art wall, no. Basically with this particular wall, I um, got some tongue and groove flooring, which I used to do the mezzanine. And I've attached it to, you know, the points of our shed to give me 
an area to attach hooks and bits and pieces so I can put all my other gear that I use on a daily basis when I'm fishing at a nice easy access point. Now, as you can see, I've got all my fishing rods, crab nets, everything's all got a spot. Nice and easy to get to, and it's just nice and neat. You know, like, again, you can make a shed as big as you want, but if you don't have good storage and you don't have a good sort of plan for where that storage goes, it just becomes very cluttered and the shed that's probably quite big becomes quite small. Now, I've got all that wall and the next wall to start filling in if I want to, but ultimately this is gonna get me through for a long time. So really, really happy with how that's turned out. It's just easy. You can grab things when you need to, and that's the whole point. Now we come to the fun part. Now, with like I said, the old shed had a lot of character. The old shed was good fun, but it just wasn't practical. I didn't want to lose that character and I wanted to have a bit of a man cave style, I guess, set up in the shed. Because when you think about it, sheds are you know, designed for a purpose. I wanted to have this sort of section for its purpose, but I also wanted to have a man cave style section for that purpose. So you come into this area and this is where I feel I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time. Like I was saying, this is gonna be the non-stop sort of HQ. So I might be doing a video talking about random things about future trips or even talking about rigs and stuff I use. This will be where I'll be doing it all because this is where I've got all my gear. So very important sort of thing behind me. Got the dartboard. Now the dartboard's all set up, ready to go. So, you know, when you're having friends around, you can have a bit of a yarn about, you know, future trips, give each other a bit of grief, but that's all here ready to roll, which is awesome. We spin around to the other area. We've got the fridge full of cold drinks. You know, you get thirsty on these hard, uh, you know, dartboard sessions, but also you've got the freezer there so you can access your bait. You don't have to go inside and all that sort of stuff. So everything's here. Also got a nice big pinup board with all of our adventures that we've had in the past. But also it's just a great point just to, you know, talk about and, you know, get you keen for the next adventure. Now, this is probably my favorite little section is the cabinetry. Now the cabinetry is again, Straco. But when I got this shed four meters, I thought, well, oh, four meters doesn't seem too like, you know, wide. But then when I measured this particular setup, I was like, oh, that'll slide in perfect. Exactly how I wanted it. So basically I bit the bullet, thought red, let's go red. It's gonna be out there, but it actually works pretty well. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you know, stand out as much as I was thinking. So I'm pretty happy with how that's all went, but it's just awesome because of the, you know, the setup. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but there must be a dog two houses down and it's howling its guts out. So, poor thing, must be lonely. There it goes. <laughs> anyway, back to this. So, all my fishing gear, all my cleaning gear for the boat is in our big cabinet. Got GoPros, got all the GoPro gear, got all the fishing gear, all in the different areas. Got all my tools, because again, it's really handy to have tools on, you know, we can get to easy enough and then all my electrical tools as well now what i really like about this is when i was getting all the wiring done i made sure that i could get a couple power points whacked in on this bench because now i can charge all the gopros charge everything for the boat and it's just easy back in the day i had to take a lot of stuff inside and that just causes clutter this is where it's all going to happen now so it keeps all my clutter in here and that's all spare space now this is capable and this is all happening because of this the mezzanine now the mezzanine seriously it is probably one of the most coolest things you can have for a shed that gives you optimum space usage now i thought to myself you know what it's probably easy to get someone to come in and build it so i actually went around had a few quotes and it was going to cost a stupid amount of money so i was like no nah. So I ended up doing it myself. All up, that mezzanine behind me, I think it cost maybe about 600 bucks for the metal, for the um, sheet timber, and then just my time basically putting it together. And it's actually turned out really, really well. What I've also done, you can see at the back there, let me just go all the way to my PowerPoint. So for example, there's a little light up there too. So then once you're sticking all your bits and pieces up, turn the light on so you can see what's going on. But that mezzanine is fantastic. Now, because the shed has the height, easy. I made sure it was high enough because I've got a couple of tall mates. The last thing you want is for them 
to hit their head or you know get any close to the you know the rafters of that so made sure it was high enough to clear everybody but such a good use of space so if you've got a shed that's got a bit of height highly mech highly recommend doing a mezzanine because it's gonna make your life so much better gets all that cluttery stuff like you know eskies swags chairs all that stuff that you just don't really have anywhere to put it out of the way easy now it's starting to fill up a lot with christmas stuff as well but again it's a multi-purpose area now as you can see beast of shed now to have a beast of a shed you've got to have a couple of things to make it work even better so once everything was done i got the wiring done now what i wanted to do lots of power so every bay has its own power point now it does all the way down the end i went extreme because i've been in so many sheds where you go on around going oh where's a power point you're looking for a power point you've got to find an extension lead to go from that power point to that side of the shed not in this shed we've got that many power points that i can literally go boom i need to charge the battery with the boat or boom need to charge some stuff with the gopros or oh i need a connector you know I don't know, a grinder or something that I need to do and cut some stuff. It's all nice and easy to get to. And because I've got a fridge freezer in here, I've also opted to get its own little circuit breaker because again, ultimately I don't want something to happen where all these go off because I don't know if anyone's seen it or been there or experienced it, but if you've got a big freezer that goes off and you open it up, it's gonna smell. So we really wanna avoid that at all cost. So. That's all on its own little thing, which is fantastic. Now, also, oh, important, mounted to the TV. Now, the TV's quite small, but we're gonna get a big one. That's all connected in. So again, in winter or even in summer, you're out here throwing a few darts, talking a few stories, got the footy in the background or even the cricket. So it's just a multi-purpose area. Now, like I said, I think it's fantastic. And this is gonna be HQ from nonstop for, yeah, whoever, whoever knows how long, but for a long time, I'm sure. But if you've got any specific questions about how things have been done, more than happy to have a chat to you about it, or even make a bit of a video about how I did it, because there are so many steps to building a shed, and you wouldn't think a shed would be such a process, but, you know, it goes from going through the building plans to getting it built, to then getting it actually sorted with the cement, then getting the mezzanine done, then doing all the wire work, then making sure everything works for slopes and ramps and stuff. So there's just so many elements. Now, like I said, I'm pretty pumped with how it's turned out and I'm very excited about the future, you know, of what can happen with nonstop. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. It's been a lot of me talking, a lot of me excited talking, why wouldn't you be excited look at this look at this so thanks again thank you for the support and to our next adventure i'll look forward to it It might be something from in here or it'll be probably out in the water hopefully but take it easy guys stay safe and we'll talk to you then you so after going through all that i just thought to myself i didn't share with you the most coolest thing of this shed it finishes the shed off perfectly check this out now you would have seen it in the background when i was talking about all this cabinetry it is my non-stop neon sign now check this out ready oh, how good is that so good so now when i'm out here mucking around and have that cranked in the background get me pumped for the next adventure so stay tuned guys because i'm very excited about the next one to come you